I want to teach you guys how to do a DIY New Year's Eve party decorations. Happy New Year! <laughs> it's been a long time. Welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire you. Now, it's been a very long time since my last video, and I will update you guys in the next video. But for now, I want to teach you guys how to do. I don't I didn't even look up the title. Dang, damn it. I want to teach you guys how to do a DIY New Year's Eve party decoration. If you are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications on all my decor designs and DIY projects I do here on my channel. So the first thing we're going to do is create a backdrop which I use painters tape on the top of my pantry because I'm going to be gluing down the streamers directly on the tape so it's less damaging and it's a lot cheaper especially if you don't have those poles to put up for curtains. So the next thing we are going to do is create a flower border which is going to help hide the painter's tape at the top. I get these flower decors from Dollar Tree, it's only a dollar, sometimes you can get two in one pack. You want to make sure that the bottom is flat so that way we are able to glue the flower onto the streamer which is directly on the painter's tape. So I have a battle wound from this design that I'm doing for New Year's, but look, I was putting glue on a flower and it fell right on my shoulder and of course the glue landed on my skin and burned me. <laughs> my battle wound. <laughs> the third thing we are going to do is hang up our Happy New Year sign. Now I completely forgot to mention this in the supplies that you do need in the beginning of the video, but for the New Year's Eve just decor. We are definitely going to set that up. Now, I glued my string to the streamers at first, which was fine. But you'll see um, in the future that I ended up gluing, hot gluing on my mirror. If you have a window or a mirror that you hang your streamers by, it can easily come off. If not, obviously you have to go with what you have. Fourth, we are going to create a champagne tower that I absolutely fell in love with. 
at Party City and I had to have it. It's optional, but you can use it. champagne tower kit that I bought at Party City. Now, there's two ways to do this. One, let's see if we can focus in. We can use up to 19 on the bottom, 10. So if you have a big party, you could make the tower. I'm going to go with the 9 on the bottom, 7, 3, 1, just because I'm just doing a display versus a whole party. Last but not least, we are going to create a table display using the items I already had. I decided to put the bottles and keep it very simple and elegant because there was a lot going on, especially in the background. But you can obviously customize it any way you fit suit. I just kept it simple. guys like this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and let me know are you going to use the same color scheme with the gold and the silver and the black or are you gonna do something different leave it in the comments below I hope 2019 is an awesome year may you set your goals um, I'm definitely gonna make a video about that because we gotta set new goals and continually be prosperous and joyous in 2019 I wish you guys a happy new year and I will catch you guys in the next video bye You know, I just, I just realized it, hopefully it says it forward because in my lens, it says it backwards. It's been a long time. My crown's so cute. Y'all know I got my hair long, right? And then my phone ring.